Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to rebuild one of these Briggs & Stratton updraft carburetors. I recently bought a Troy built wood chipper. I've had some issues with the how it runs and so I'm just going to go ahead and rebuild the carburetor. Um, it's supposedly sat for about three or four years before I bought it so it couldn't hurt. Alright, so let's get started. Now, the first instinct you might have is to go ahead and, and take these three bolts out of the top and, and split it apart. Um, that's really not what you need to start with here. What we first need to do is remove the high speed needle and the nozzle, that's, the fuel nozzle that's inside, which extends up inside. If we don't do that, when we pull the top off, we might damage that in the process. So let's go ahead and remove that. Move the needle with a 7 16 wrench. And then the nozzle has to come out with some sort of a flathead screwdriver that you can fit up in that hole to get up in there. Be gentle. Um, these are brass, so you could easily damage them. Okay. Now these you don't replace as part of a rebuild, but you should try to clean it. There's a bunch of little holes in the sides of it that I'm sure can get clogged up. After many years of sitting or many years of use or whatever, um, it's worth cleaning before you put it back in there. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and take the top half off. See all that sludge in the bottom of the lower half here? So now's the time to go ahead and clean all that out. All right, let's go ahead and take the float off. Shake the float, make sure there's not any gas inside of it. If there is, then I have to get a new one of those too. Yeah, this thing's pretty dirty, so we gotta give it a good cleaning all around before we can go any further. Alright, let's start putting this back together. Oops, flew me the wrong way. go. You want to make sure that's sitting level when it's all the way down. Let's go ahead and put the halves back together.
All right, so now we can put that fuel nozzle back in. And our new high speed needle. And when you put this in, Make sure the screw's backed out most of the way. If you have it all bottomed out, when you jam it in there, it's gonna end up hitting the uh, fuel nozzle and, and damaging it. So let's back it out pretty far. And we'll come back to that in a minute. Do our low speed needle. All right, last thing we need to do before we're ready to put this back on is adjust both of the needles. Um, you wanna screw them all the way in. Don't force it with a screwdriver or something like that. I prefer to do it by hand. And then this high speed needle, we're gonna back it out one and a half turns. That's just a starting point. You might have to adjust it later. A low speed needle, we're gonna do one turn. All right, I think we're ready to put it back on the engine and give it a shot.